So now I'm going to bring you through drawing one point perspective from a photograph. This is my living room. So when I start drawing, I look at where are these lines coming together. When you're drawing from a photograph, you do have to keep in mind that there's a lot of times distortion involved with um, taking photos from the lens. There's what's called lens distortion. And so nothing in this picture is going to be actually perfect. But I'm just doing a loose drawing um, and trying to get the general idea, the general shapes of my living room down. <clears throat> so what I'm going to show you is how I start. So when I start, I am looking at the back wall. I'm going to start with the back wall. Um, in some of the examples, you start with the horizon line and pick a vanishing point. Um, but I'm drawing from a photograph, so I'm going to start with the back wall. So start with the back wall. This is really difficult to draw. Oh, look, it straightened it out for me. Oops. Okay. And here, there we go. So here is my back wall. In order to find the vanishing point, I'm going to draw a line out of the corner of the rectangle and uh, bring it into the center, lining it up with the top of the ceiling. This is going to be my vanishing point. So when I start, um, drawing, I'm going to keep that in mind as I'm drawing the back wall and then drawing the top of the ceiling to find the vanishing point. So then every time I draw another line, um, let's say I'm going to start with the couch, I'm going to find that line going to the vanishing point. This is going to be that true shape that I talked about earlier. So I can see the front of that, but the top of the, um, the couch, these are going to go to the vanishing point. So you can see here the top of the couch here and the top of the couch here, and all of these lines will be going to the vanishing point. Another thing to keep in mind is when you draw something like a doorway, you know, you have the top of the door here. How I measure where the top of the door is here. So say this door was moved over a little bit, um, but the doorway is going to be the same height. So I would mark this right on the edge of my wall here uh, as where the top of the door would be. And then I would take my ruler and draw from the vanishing point here to over here. So then I would know that the top of the door would be right about here. It takes a lot of the guessing out of it. Um, but a lot of times you just want to estimate and see where things are um, when going to the vanishing point. Now I'm going to start my 30 minute drawing of my living room. Uh, I'm gonna start with that back wall and then draw the lines out of the corner of the wall to the, discover what the vanishing point will be. So that is my vanishing point, the small dot there. Now I'm going to draw the door on the back wall and then measure where that next door would start so that I know where to line up the top of the door. Here's where I'm going to measure the top of the door and make a mark in the corner of my wall and then line up that mark to the vanishing point to discover where the top of my door is going to be and draw the line from there. 
Next, I'm going to add in some detail, add in some three-dimensional qualities to the door frame, add in the TV stand and speakers. Uh, notice that the TV stand um, shelving all lead to the vanishing point. Next is the couch. I'm going to add in the couch, the top arm of the back wall and line up the front arm to the vanishing point so that it appears to be the same height. Notice that things in the background appear smaller than things in the foreground. Uh, adding in pictures and details, now the rug and measuring the equal distance between each line so that it looks correct. And then finishing off with the plant in the background.